by order of the Overseer Council. The following document, along with all associated documents, is Level 3 classified. Any attempts to access this file without proper authorization may lead to disciplinary action. Item number SCP-6545 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Assigned Site Site 43 Site Director Alan J. McGinnis Research Head Dr. Philip Simmons Assigned Task Force Not Applicable Special Containment Procedures SCP-6545 is stored within Anonymous Item Storage 34 located at sub-level 1 of Site-43, where experimentation requires the permission of the current project head. Civilians witnessing any SCP-6545-A instances are to be located and amnesticized. All tests regarding SCP-6545 are to be recorded in the experiment log. Description SCP-6545 refers to a disconnected doorbell of unknown make and model that, when pressed, opens a call with an individual identifying herself as Janet Tilson, POI-6545, who claims to be an employee of the company Anomalon Location. Anomalon Location's designation as a group of interest is currently pending. Research into both Tilson and Anomala location has failed to produce any conclusive results. When connected, the user is asked for a description of their dream home, with the purpose of constructing a house fitting the subject's interpretation. These residences, designated collectively as SCP-6545-A, instantly replace the interior of the person's current property following two to three days after contact. Notably, a set of criteria is applied when detailing the abode the individual desires, which is as follows. The property must not be used as a means to harm anyone, including oneself. The individual is prohibited from selling or otherwise taking advantage of any amenities within the property in terms of business. The property is unable to include any organisms, excluding plants. The property is unable to replicate areas which already existed. The subject is able to repeat the process multiple times, as well as ask for a refund, in which case the home's interior returns back into its previous state. Those attempting to go against the given rules automatically have the property reverted to its previous condition. Any further attempts to contact anomalous location by these individuals are rejected. Experiment Logs The following is a selection of test logs conducted using SCP-6545, the full list of which can be found in Site-43's database. Test 1. A garden with a tree at the center, capable of producing numerous kinds of fruits. Request accepted. The flow was replaced by dirt. Various plants were scattered across the area, along with a tree of an unidentified species centered in the room that grew various common and undiscovered fruits. The fruits were highly nutritious. Test 2. A lemonade stand. Request denied, as subject could sell lemonade using the stand, even when insisting it would not be used for that purpose. 3. Jack in a Box. Test was to observe if it could replicate the Jack in a Box establishment. Request accepted. SCP 6545A2 consisted of a large amount of unique Jack in a Box toys surrounding a crate that, when opened, sprouted out a mannequin connected to a metal spring. Test 4. A marching band, able to play any piece the subject suggests. Request accepted. SCP-6545-A3 consisted of a single-framed black-and-white photo of a marching band hung on a spruce wall. Dr. Simmons claimed to have vaguely recognized the photo, but was unable to elaborate. None of the persons within the image could be identified. Underneath was a speaker that could accurately play a marching band arrangement of any song upon request. Source of the sound was unknown. 
5. Willy Wonka's Factory Request denied, as in the associated film, the factory contained people. 6. An empty version of Willy Wonka's Factory Request accepted, SCP 6545A4 consisted of a sector of the factory as seen from the original movie, expanding larger than the room's exterior would allow. The candy therein was also edible and described by personnel as overly sweet. Interview Log Interviewer Dr. Philip Simmons Interviewee POI 6545 Forward The interview was conducted in order to get further information regarding anomalous locations through POI 6545. This was under the agreement that Dr. Simmons would file a request afterward. Begin log. All right, it should be recording. Oh, you're recording this? Yes, for future reference. Is that so? <sighs> okay, then, uh, let's just hurry this up. I don't have all the time in the world, you know. Apologies. Anyway, let's begin. Are we? <coughs> How long have you been working for Anomala Location, Mrs. Tolson? I prefer Janet. And this is my, what, second year here? Yeah, I've been working hard since mid-April. And how you get the job? You know, the usual, fill in the job application, went on for an interview, and got the job a week or so after. The rest is history. How has the company been treating you? I say it's quite alright, nothing special, but alright. I just sit here and mind my own business, really. Pay sorts of good. Any complaints? I guess you could say it's a bit boring. Well, I don't mind. I'm quite used to it by now. Who else works for the company? Anyone you knew beforehand? Only a few of my colleagues. Uh, how are they? They're fine most of the time. Though they can be somewhat pushy. That might just be me. Who knows? How many questions have left? I want to hurry this up. It's only this question. Then we're done. Again, I apologize. Could you possibly tell me the corporation's process when getting people with their dream houses? Hello, is anybody home? Uh, well, um, starts with... <laughs> Sorry, uh, could you give me a sec? I'm like half asleep right now. Sure. I truly am sorry. I just haven't had coffee this morning. It's quite all right. You don't need to apologize. Just take your time. Thank you. Right, so basically it starts with a caller sending in a request of the dream home. Then, after some planning and such, we head out and presto chancho, the house gets remodeled. Well, it's only the interior, but still... I'll go more into detail, but I only make the calls. I don't know much of anything else. Could you at least elaborate on how they locate their current home, or what you mean by pistol changeo? Like I said, uh, not my department, so I can't say... Mm. So, yeah, we're done here, right? Simmons flips through the pages in his notebook. Mm-hmm. That is all. Thank you very much for this interview. Hey, don't go thanking me just yet. You still haven't told me your dream house. They promised, remember? Of course, of course. Just, um, give me a moment to think. All right. You done? Right, right. Uh, I guess maybe Hogwarts? Uh, empty version of it, obviously. I was quite the fan of Harry Potter when I was a young lad. So that would be nice. No can do, sir. How come? It's in the rules. Are you not aware of the rules? I am. But what is the problem? <sighs> Hogwarts is in use. And no. Afterward. POI 6545 declined to provide further information on this topic, citing client privilege. 
Further research into this claim is currently pending.